crush the Sicilian with the sharpest line is the topic of today's video. Uh, when Black decides to play the Sicilian, he is trying to play for three results. He's uh, hoping to get a uh, maybe dynamic good uh, middle game uh, or a good ending. And on, on the way to this, he is risking or she is risking to get mated in a violent attack. Because uh, the Sicilian lets whites become very active, uh, leading to early skirmishes and a lot of action. Um, in this game, we, we're going to see from the European Championship, uh, David Navarra, the rating uh, favorite uh, before the tournament, uh, lost horribly to uh, a, a relatively unknown player. I never heard of him before. Abdullah Gadimbaili from uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, David Navarro is a very strong attacker himself. Uh, he's not that good in defending, in my my view. Uh, and uh, maybe he would have done better playing uh, the Berlin. Uh, especially since uh, most uh, players from Azerbaijan are often very good in dynamics. Uh, it seems uh, their, their, I don't know, their chess schools just teach them to let the... The, uh, the pieces fly out in, in the opponent's face uh, because everybody from uh, from uh, Azerbaijan seems to attack very well, uh, like uh, like uh, Rajapov and Mamedyarov and of course uh, Kasparov <laughs> was uh, the main problem. But let's get going. Um, the Sicilian uh, comes after. Oops, let's let's take it here uh, from the beginning. That's the Sicilian, uh, and that's of course uh, the sharpest opening and. This is the open Sicilian. That is the critical test. Uh, you could say, positionally speaking, White has given up uh, a central pawn, one the D pawn for the C pawn, uh, giving Black a slight structural advantage, uh, but also getting a lot of space and activity. And this is the Knight of Variation, the Cadillac of chess openings, uh, the favorite of Kasparov and Fischer, and of course uh, one of the best openings. And it is one of the, the best ways for black to play for a win in a controlled way. Uh, there is no known way for white to get an advantage against the Knight of, and everybody is preparing for it for every tournament, and black white is playing all sorts of crap. Uh, like, I saw that uh, they play Queen D3, they play, uh, they play all uh, weird moves. The most dangerous line is without doubt bishop d5. This is the sharpest move. Uh, putting the piece on a very active square um, and getting ready to castle queen side, putting a rook in the center as well. So this is the critical test and this is what I don't like about the knight of because I think if, if white goes something like bishop e2 g3 or something uh, then black is fine and it's it's interesting position and there's something very uh, sim sympathetic about black's position but after bishop d5 everything becomes very concrete very aggressive white will typically also follow up with f4 and immediately all sorts of sacrifices are in the air the main line here is is e6 um, and uh, and after something like this you can go for the uh, poisoned pawn variation a lot of theory there uh, there's also uh, just the main line with bishop e7 um, there is uh, there is the Polgievsky, which i think is now refuted and so on there are a lot of lines here and um, and a lot of things to think about. Knight bd7 is uh, very uh, popular these days. It was also recommended in a book I got. And um, and it's uh, basically why black is waiting. Maybe he will not play e6. Maybe he will play e5 immediately, or maybe he'll play even g6. And the knight often go to this square anyway. So why uh, the black is celebrating, and and why this is black is ready to take back with the knight on f6 avoiding the dreaded double pawn queen e2 that that is sort of a well if you you chose uh, this move to to old masters they probably think what are you doing uh, you're 
you're playing, uh, you're boxing in your bishop, you, you're not going to get the bishop out. Uh, but of course, this is one of the main line. Um, the, the thing is, the queen is on the same diagonal as the king, which might come in handy when knights jumps all over the place. And white is ready to do this next move, um, casting queenside. h6, that's part of uh, black's idea. And after this, uh, he goes g6. And g6 is not uh, a preparation for bishop d7, because that will probably run into... Uh, some an early e5 f4 and e5 but it's a, a preparation for e5 without allowing the knight to go to f5 now you can just take it so uh, and the main move is still f4 here and something like this is probably already a total disaster for black so you better avoid it um, so e5 is is uh, is the main move uh, takes and castle uh, and if you take here, you're probably gonna gonna die very very uh, painfully, uh, very quickly. Um, something like this is is not fun. Uh, this king <laughs> is in some sort of of serious trouble here. So uh, taking is not possible. So it was not actually threatening the knight, but it was. It will be threatened at some point. Uh, so black plays queen c7, takes over control over this square. And after this, uh, uh, he plays uh, b5. And all this is, is main, uh, main line theory. And we can see that black is definitely uh, in some danger here because he is not ready to castle and uh, the king will not necessarily be safe anywhere. So it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, dangerous for sure, but this is part of the sort of the the charm of the Sicilian is is also you you take chances to uh, to get better better winning chances uh, and and I, maybe Navarro he had was a bit disappointed because he had played a lot of draws so he was sort of almost out of the the championship fight uh, before it even began due, due to all this draw. So I thought he wanted a fighting game for sure. Uh, and he is, he, in general, in this time he was, he was the rating favorite with 2700, but in the normal times he's got 2730 or something. So he's, he's, he's in the top 30 of the world. And, and I think... He, I'm sure he probably underestimated Gadim Bailey, which nobody heard about. Knight d5, um, jumping up here, and um, and we see that this this queen here is now a, an, a factor. This bishop is a factor, and this pawn is a factor. But apart from that, black structure looks quite nice. Not bad. Uh, bishop here um, looks uh, nice and black is now ready to castle with a relatively safe king and some nice pawns in the center and he's also got uh, this knight here is not very good and and there's also some some chances to attack on the queen side queen d2 why do uh, black uh, white play this move well he prevents castling uh, which was uh, definitely the plan. Uh, you can't cast now what would take. And, and this uh, pawn is, is actually a bit annoying. Also, he was probably uh, hoping to get this, this guy down here out at some point. Uh, F5. And that's, that's of course, uh, looks natural. Um, maybe you can just go g5. Maybe you will even go e4 or something. Um, it's and 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 it, maybe you can evacuate the king to f7. So it makes sense. It, it weakens, but it's also taking space. And and black does have uh, a much nicer structure than white at this at this time. Uh, but it's white to move. And here comes uh, g4. And. Um, and this is uh, how you're supposed to play when you're, the king is out in the open like this. Uh, you, you don't play too much about material. You play about uh, what, what's going on here. And, uh, and of course, this is, is a dangerous uh, position for, for black, who has to be very careful uh, what he does. Uh, and, uh, and the most sensible is, is maybe this move. Uh, 
I'm not sure this is best, but it looks the computer I think prefer something else. And here I think the the best move is, is Bishop D3 and something like like this looks like natural move. And I think actually it's theory um, <clears throat> with sort of an unclear position. But this is uh, what you have to endure if if you play the Sicilian. This is what you get. Uh, this is how it's played. Uh, your king will be in danger, but you will probably have some uh, chances to counterattack and some structural uh, advantages. Instead, white played d5, uh, preventing uh, d4, d uh, black from taking d5, but that looks a little bit um, weird. I don't know. And here, I think a natural move would be something like knight c5. Uh, just uh, Getting rid of some, getting some pieces out, and um, getting ready to play this move, which would definitely improve Black's uh, structural feeling a, a lot. Uh, instead, uh, Black played this move, which is um, is a little bit dangerous. Uh, it's very, uh, very ambitious. Uh, maybe uh, you're looking into this. Maybe you're looking at this pawn. Um, White, of course, plays this move, and uh, White's Play is very simple. He's he's going to 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 take over uh, the open files and attack. Especially uh, this guy down here is in some sort of danger. Uh, Bishop f5. <coughs> it's also uh, a natural move. Um, maybe the king can uh, stay on the queen side. And we see that if, if White exchanges this one, then uh, maybe this knight was not so bad on on b6. Uh, queen e2. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's on the white square. White expects to to attack. Also, it does threaten this move, <laughs> uh, which is uh, not so easy for for black to meet, um, because uh, sometimes you you take this one and you uh, you take this one and you go you go here if for it's not the king d7 or something. Okay, king f7, and here comes a uh, shocker, and I'm sure. Um, <coughs> Navarro didn't see this, and that's uh, that's a problem, and that's also why it's dangerous in the Sicilian. Even though, if if you're a very good calculator, and uh, Navarro is definitely a good calculator, uh, you will overlook things in these very sharp positions. And here, uh, White has a great move, uh, which uh, it looks like everything is covered, and then comes knight d4, uh, and and it's of course all about uh, this square down here. Uh, and of course, uh, this bishop here is in in serious uh, circumstances. Take and take, and uh, and now it's time to uh, to really uh, be careful. Play something like rook e8 or something, um, queen c4 maybe. I don't know, but definitely not what uh, Navarre did here. And um, and this. And it's, it's well, maybe it's 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 easy to understand why uh, you can you can make a mistake here. A, a computer, of course, is not com confused in these kind of positions. It would just calculate everything to the end. Um, Navarro was not able to do that. Knight uh, d5, and here it's white to move. What to do? How to attack? Um, and I'm sure a guy like uh, Gadim Bailey, he's he's probably he's probably not very good in, for instance, the ending. Uh, but in this kind of position, I think he's very good. Uh, and and I think most uh, young, uh, uh, promising players uh, would be good in this position. That's also why I would never ever play the knight off against a guy like Abdullah. Uh, that's simply uh, it seems impractical to to go for something so sharp when you can just uh, try to outmaneuver him in in a more positional way even though he will try to attack of course because players who who, who does this are always attacking players uh, you can make sure of that so here comes uh, the the idea knight f5 knight f5 and um, it's it's opening for the rook it's uh, it's opening to to do this uh, and and especially this uh, pin in, in the D file is a big problem, so he takes and takes and uh, and even though uh, normally black is a is a pawn up, there's two big features in this uh, position. There is uh, the D file, um, 
and, and this clumsy bishop. And then there is uh, this king here. We make, will make that yellow, uh, which is a bad king. It will not be easy to defend that king, uh, for sure. Uh, this this uh, <coughs> bishop will be attacked. <coughs> This pawn might also fall, and then the king will be bad forever. It needs some sort of a cover. Queen d3, uh, very natural move, uh, attacking here and attacking here, and forcing uh, this move. Um, <coughs> and here comes another uh, unpleasant move. Uh, queen b3, not taking on f5, uh, which maybe was also good, but but this is... is uh, is, is definitely uh, the problem. Uh, this, um, and we see that the king does not have a good uh, square. There are checks everywhere and so on. Um, king go here and the other rooks join the action. <coughs> um, we see that this this king will not survive. And 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 basically, uh, even though black has uh, has good pieces, nine, three pass pawns in the center, he's, he's the bad king decides the outcome, which often happens in the Sicilian. Uh, queen b6, and um, a lot of things win here. This move is, is nice. Uh, I especially like that uh, if, if he takes with the king, then comes uh, uh, this move. And it's made in one move. So the king cannot take. What to do then? Um, there's also there's checks everywhere, so, so it's not so easy. Um, he played king h7, which makes sense. Um, now the check here, you take and then the, the but uh, and and we see this uh, there's this x-ray. So here it's white to move. Uh, which move would you prefer? For white in this position, um, and and this might be difficult for some players uh, to 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 see what to do here. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna show you rook c5, and I really like that move. It it breaks off uh, the the attack on on f7 and it opens for the queen to join the action so the the, the white's black uh, queen is cut off and white's uh, king is <coughs> is in the <coughs> the main uh, bishop e5 here uh, i think the computer says it's made in, in 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 five if you take here instead he played the much more human move uh, queen a3 makes a lot of sense uh, Kind of like it too. Um, threaten to take and mate. Rook e6. <coughs> Just to to defend you, Kogan, of course, uh, uh, take anyway. Here there is, uh, and, you, and he does. Um, yes, there is a very nice move for white as well. And if you know you, you're not going to play for material, uh, why not always look at, the, well, do you remember I told you about Baburin's rule? Always look at all captures, all night moves, and all checks. All checks. So what uh, what kind of checks are there? Is of course a check here, uh, which probably wins as well. Um, but there is also another nice check here, which is kind of cool uh, because if if he takes here, then it's made in one immediately. This is kind of nice. And if he uh, takes with the queen, then there's not much cover here, so you cannot go in between uh, that one. So you have to take here and go back, and it's mate again. So that's a nice mate. Instead, uh, but I think uh, Abdullah is, is is forgiven for for just playing a, a strong move here. Um, Rook a6, bishop takes f5, and here black resign. After something like this, I think he will be mated very quickly. Uh, there's there's just no way you can survive this. Um, at all so um a great game by um by abdullah uh got him Bailey, and uh, of course a huge loss for david navarra that that always plays the european champion and <laughs> always never wins uh even though he's he's often the the, the favorite uh, he is a very strong player he has a he has a style that should suit this kind of tournament well but he runs into this kind of defeats and 
that's it. It is very dangerous uh, to to play this, and if you play the knight of, you have to be prepared for this. And white is gonna go after you and after your king, and you might lose in twenty moves. Uh, so I'm, I'm. That's this is uh, is is the problem with the knight of. Also because theory moves very fast in the knight of. Uh, after bishop d5, of course, uh, white has had to study a lot. A real lot. I remember I got a book by John Nunn. It was this thick about Bishop D5, um, and I got that book 20 years ago, I think. So nowadays, with the computers playing against each other, there's going to be a huge amount of theory. That does not mean that you cannot have a theoretical edge. It just means that if you're going to play this, you have to work. You have to work a lot. You have to, um, for instance, go through all the games with the uh, with the night off every week uh, when Trick arrives and see if there's anything bad happens that you have to uh, uh, repair or something. By the way, after this move, White has a lot of options. Uh, another pretty dangerous move is uh, Bishop C4, which and then after something like this, uh, you probably have to take here, and that looks extremely dangerous. Um, so this is, uh, you can also play this, but then uh, uh, this is this is, is a little bit uh, scary looking for, for white. Uh, I, I kind of like this this move, that's, uh, because playing e6 uh, already looks uh, suspicious. Uh, you might... White might take it with the bishop. Anyway, this was uh, Crushing the Sicilian. Uh, this was GM Talks. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you again soon.